Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into Yi Ar Kung Fu, which is Chinese, actually. Normally it's Japanese, but it's Chinese. It translates into One Two Kung Fu. Um, this is a fighting game, as you can see, uh, inspired by Bruce Lee's Hong Kong martial arts escapades. Um, and actually, it's kind of an interesting game. Um, so as you can see, it's a very primitive early NES game. We're actually playing the Famicom version uh, here today. Uh, for a little bit of extra authenticity, this game was released in 1984 in Japan. Uh, came out internationally later. And um, what's interesting about this game actually, too, is that it is one of the first, if not the first, fighting game to include a health bar which uh, would later become a staple of the fighting genre, you know, like Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat. And every fighting game in existence nowadays has a health bar. It's kind of taken for granted. But if you go back and look at, like, I think it's Karate Champ, uh, which came out a year or two before this, it basically had a one-hit kill, I believe, or one hit, you know, it just counted the number of hits that you got. The idea of actually having a health bar and moves is actually something that was unique and novel at the time. So while this game does look pretty primitive here, um, you know, the reason that it's in the Thousand and One book and the reason that we're playing it is because it is sort of so influential to the history of fighting games. And honestly, you know, sometimes it's fun to go back and play these really basic NES games. Sometimes they surprise you. So let's give this one a fair shot here today. And also, we'll try the Famicom version, which we've got. Um, but we're also going to afterwards check out the arcade version to see what this looked like in the arcades. Because apparently the Famicom version had uh, quite a few differences than the uh, arcade version. So let's give this a shot. There's only two buttons. So you can punch this guy in the gut. You can drop kick him. Oh yeah! So it's Lee versus Wang. I, I Wang. <laughs> I like how Bruce Lee here has shown up to the fight, just like ready to fight, like honestly and earnestly. And Wang shows up with like a crowbar. Um, the hitboxes here are a little rough, but from what I've read, that's sort of um, an element of this game. It has like, you know, uh, kind of a bit janky hitboxes, if you will. But we seem to be doing pretty good, actually. Come on, buddy. <laughs> oh, we got him! Yes! I can't believe I actually passed it. Normally in games that are sort of this old school, sometimes they have insane difficulty where like passing level one is really hard. Oh, this guy shoots fire! That does not seem fair at all. Okay, jump towards him. So this is one of those games where jump is up, uh, which makes jumping diagonally like quite a challenge. Oh, God. Get him. Oh, God. And his hits. He hits you from quite a distance. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Okay, jump towards him. Jump towards him. My health is low. Oh, God, he's getting me. He's getting me. No. I think we're, we're about to die here. Now, I think there are only five opponents in this entire game. So, and by the way, every time you see me jump vertically up, I'm trying to jump towards him. It's just insane to get the the direction to do it. Um, okay, jump. There we go. Yeah. Oh, maybe you have to walk for a bit and then jump. That's the secret. That's the trick. All right. You're going down, Tao. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I kicked him right in the face. Yeah. How do you like that, man? Oh, another kick to the face. Oh, he kicked me in the, the chest. Uh, turnabout's fair play, I guess. Oh my god, I can't get this guy. Look, I'm kicking literally right through him. It seems to be totally right. Like, like, how is that not- how am I not landing hits? Seems to be totally- oh, he kicked me right in the nads. That sucks. Seems to be totally random as to, like, when my attacks are landing versus when they are not. Like, it's- it's very... Very sort of wishy-washy. Look, look, I'm kicking through him. It's like, <laughs> they're like, we're going to make it so realistic that you can kick past your enemies. Won't that be a fun gameplay mechanic? It's like, how about this? If my foot lands anywhere on his body, can you just count it as a hit? Like, <laughs> why were two of those three kicks that I just did, why were they misses? Why is this missing? And okay, now we got him. Oh, that dick. 
Ooh. Oh my god, I jumped into a fireball. Oh god, get him! Look, why, why are those kicks missing? Why are all these kicks missing? Most of my kicks aren't weren't hitting him there. Oh my god, we got him so low. And game over. Damn. Now at the title screen, we had the option for level 1 or level 2. Can we just start at level 2? Can we just start fighting this guy? Uh, no. I guess, I'm, I'm guessing level 2 is harder than level 1. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, hold on. Let's reset. And let's, uh, just play on level 1 here. So, I mean, it's- it's a basic- it's a- it's a simple fighting game by today's standards. Very simple fighting game. Like, uh, half the time, though, like, my kicks... Like, like they're landing on him? Look, they're not doing anything! Why are those kicks not landing? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense! It doesn't make any How did people play this? You know, I'm perfectly willing to be forgiving of old games. 100%. But, like, what is happening with the hitboxes in this game? Why did both of my kicks miss? Okay, we're- we're gonna reset if we die on level 1, because there's absolutely no point in getting to level 2 and not having max lives. So, like, how does this work? There's, there's gotta be a logic to it. Like, okay, I just did two kicks there and only one landed. There we go, okay, that landed. I think this guy is vulnerable to, like, down kicks, it seems. See, look, all these kicks are missing. That one hit suddenly, I don't know what's going on. Oh, we drop kicked him. That's good. See, at least th this first guy, I think we've got him. The second guy's tricky because he can, like, spit fireballs or Hadoukens or whatever he's doing. See, like, why, why are all these kicks missing? Why? Okay. Okay, once, once you start trying to land kicks and they're just missing and you're getting hit, you really should just run away. That's what I've learned from this game. Oh, come on. I drop kicked him. Oh, there we go. All right, we got him. And he does some victory kicks. hee ya hee ya hee ya And then he has a little smile at the end. I like that. Nice little touch. So my hope for the arcade version is that we just have better hitboxes. Ah, oh, crap. If we just have better hitboxes, I will be happy. And... Oh, God, I can't believe that dropkick missed him. Yeah, there we go. Alright, now we're kicking his butt. Ooh, nice try. Oh, God, that sucked. I saw that coming. Oh, we are like, rocking this this time. Oh, get out of there. Oh, we drop kicked him. Yes. Oh, shoot. Oh, crap. Maybe it's like when you get hit, you all of a sudden can't deal damage or something. And that's why it's like once you start hitting kicks. Oh my god, we actually beat him. Okay. Once you start kicking and your kicks are constantly missing, it's like just get out of there. Don't don't try and power through. Oh my god, this guy's a chain. Holy crap. What the hell is this crap? Oh my god. How can anyone beat such a man? This guy brought a chain to a- to a fight. This isn't fair, man. I can't even get one hit on this guy. Yeah, there we go. We got one hit. Chen. Well, Chen's a bit of a bastard. Ah, oh, Chen is a bastard, man! Oh, come on! Oh, son of a bitch! He hit me in the face with a Chen. <laughs> with a- with a Chen. With a chain! Chen with his chain! Being cheap. Jesus. I think maybe drop kicking this guy is the way to do it. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, God, get out of there. Ah, I saw that coming. All right, we got him down to half health. Yikes. There we go. Hey, we didn't even do any damage to him there. We're just showboating. Okay, why why did none of those kicks hit? <laughs> it makes no sense. Look, my kicks are going right through him. What is happening? Let's get him in a corner and just wail on him. Oh, yeah, here we go. He can't get out. This is like the equivalent of Super Mario Brothers 3, or Mario 1, where you land on that turtle right at the perfect spot in the stairs, and you just continue to jump on him and get infinite lives. Chen is screwed, man. Yes! <laughs> it's an exploit, but I don't care. We cheesed our way through a guy. That's how you play old NES games, man. You have no shame about exploiting video games. Uh... <laughs> okay. Great bonus stage. Guess we we're supposed to punch those or something or dodge them. Oh, we're fighting a girl now, Lang. Cool. 
But yeah, I know, I, I know, like, uh, like nowadays in modern games, like, cause so much is like online and multiplayer. Like, exploits are usually frowned upon, and like when people use exploits to beat a game, it's like considered cheesing and stuff. But I am of an era where games were so hard and frequently like not necessarily broken, broken, but like you know, not necessarily fair. That if you found an exploit and you could use it, that's just part of the game. Um, also, when I was a kid, all not, like nowadays every game is online, so it's like when an exploit is discovered, usually the developers patch it out and fix it. But in my day, you you couldn't patch games. So when a game came out, if it had an exploit, that wasn't a bug, that was a feature, you know? It's like, that's just how the game worked. It's like, oh, you can jump on a turtle and get infinite lives in Mario. Yeah, that's not a bug, that's a secret, you know? Um, she was way easier, by the way, than the other ones that we've been fighting so far. So, we are in level five. Oh my god, <laughs> it's a giant Raiden. He just did like a Raiden, uh, or like a E Honda kind of like body lunge at me. Yeah. Yeah, can't get this guy. We got like one. He got one hit, and I got one hit, and that's we're at a stalemate now. Oh, nice try, buddy. I want to get this guy in a corner and like uh, Mario turtle him. Okay, he's too smart for me though. Oh, can't get this guy. I think this guy's the final boss, by the way. So like, there's a good chance we're not gonna beat him. Oh, we did get him. Oh, we got him twice though. This could actually happen. Lee versus Mew. Oh, nice try. As long as I keep jumping, he can't get me. Oh. I think the secret is like once you land, you do like a kick in the, the air and sometimes you like get him in the back of the head. Like right there, I tried to do a kick. Oh, there we go. Oh, you dick. Oh, come on. Yeah. Oh, we're s it, it's it's so close. Oh my god, we've actually oh yeah double hit No, no, no ah. Oh my god, we could actually do this get back get back. Oh We did it <laughs> Jesus <laughs> I've never been so proud of an accomplishment in a Famicom game before did we just beat the game? Oh my god. Oh, no, we didn't. Oh my fingers hurt. Oh my god. It's this guy again, but he's harder. They've changed the background color of the level. That's how I know it's harder. Jesus, he's going to, to town with that crowbar. He's going to town. So this game might have infinite levels, but there's only five guys to fight, but we actually beat every guy. I consider that a massive uh, success for us. I'm expecting to die and not beat this guy, but I'm gonna, you know, legit try and do it anyway. Come on, come on, come on, yes. Will he just, will he just always get hit by this? Ah, oh, you dick! How did you get through that? I'm just gonna continue to do this move, and if you get hit, buddy, it's your own fault. Come on, we can beat Wang again! Yes! <laughs> it's not a bug, it's a feature. This is how we played video games back in the days, people. No shame! Don't you shame me for exploiting this game. I am of a different era. <laughs> In 1990, no one would have judged you for this, so stop judging me now. It's not how- it's not how, uh- Oh, no, 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 no! He made it through. Okay, come on. Come on. Come to Papa. Yeah, come to Pain Town, buddy! Population you! The Pain Train got him. There's no way we're gonna beat these, like, later guys, though. It's just like... Oh! <laughs> oh! He's like kicking me right in the uh right in the giggle berries. Oh yeah, I drop kicked him. That's satisfying. Boom! Oh, moved. Oh, come on. And then drop kick get him. Oh, bastard. Oh, well, how do those how did that kick totally miss his face? There there totally is a thing where like after you get hit, you can't hit the other guy for a brief period of time. It Totally seems to be. And like half the time when I drop kick him, my kicks just land on him but do no damage. So I don't know. I mean, what can we say? It's, you know, again, oh crap. It's in a very early fighting game. Um, its claim to fame was the introduction of a hit bar, which, you know, if you had fighting games today without hit bars, it would be a totally different scene. So it's like definitely influential. Um, oh man, we're actually doing pretty good here. 
Oh, come on, that should have landed. Okay, that one missed. If I miss, I'm I'm happy to admit it, game, but just give me give me the ones I earn, you know? Oh yeah, kick to the back of the head. We earned that one. Um you know, kind of kind of like glitchy and oh my god, like <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Crap. At the first for a brief second at the beginning, I thought maybe we could actually do this fight. But we <sighs> Doesn't help when you jump in the wrong direction, and you can't jump. The- the jumping with up, I will say, is one of the worst parts of this game. The worst part is the fact that your, uh, the hitboxes suck so badly. Like, half the time you do a hit and it's actually on the guy, and it just doesn't count. I say that's one of the worst parts. The worst part, though, is, uh... Or no, that is the worst part. The second worst part is the- the jumping. How bad it is. Like, I, I, I look like I, like it's easy here, but it isn't. Come on. I want to get him in the corner, man, like we did that one guy, but I think trying to do so will just kill me. Okay, come on. We got this. Oh, he got out of it. Oh, you can kick the fireballs? Hold on, you can kick the fireballs? I guess I shouldn't try that right now, but I've kind of like backed myself into a kicking corner here. Oh my god, no. Come on. Come on. Oh, we're, we're so dead. Oh! I thought he was going to jump back and I was going to drop kick him and stuff. We died. All right. Well, you know what? We, we did pretty good. We got past all five of the bosses. Let's hop over into the arcade and just take a quick look at what this game looked like in the arcade edition um, to see, uh, you know, where this game came from. Because, again, the Famicom port here, I believe... Had a fair number of differences from the arcade. So let's see that version. All right. Ye are Kung Fu from Konami 1985. Um, and so you can see, actually, the characters look far more detailed here. I don't think we saw anyone with nunchucks. The moves also look more complex. This is Oolong versus Nuncha. <laughs> and we actually have a background here. It's not just a random dojo. Um, hey, we saw this character, Buchu, I think. So, Oolong is your character? I thought his name was Lee. I guess it's only the Famicom and NES versions that renamed him. Are they going to show us other characters? Is it just those two? So, maybe the first guy that we were fighting, was it wasn't a stick, it was nunchucks. That would make sense, actually. Alright, we're throwing a few quarters. Your next opponent is Buchu, Star, and Nunchuck. Okay. Let's see what the buttons are. There's a there's a there's a jump button, an actual jump button. I appreciate that. Um, trying to figure out how to do moves here. Doing pressing like two two buttons together does a move. Oh, that was cool. Kind of like a jump kick. And so it's like very primitive, like Street Fighter kind of like, uh, you know, there are moves. Wow, I just sort of button mashed my way through that actually. I wish I could act, I wish I actually told you the moves, but they was probably printed on the arcade uh, side of the arcade machine back in the day. So if I was playing this in a real arcade, I could figure it out. It's funny, I have a jump button, but I'm so used to jumping with up now because of the NES version that uh, I'm not <laughs> I'm not using the uh, I'm not using the uh, the button. And we are kicking some serious butt though. The enemies like can't even keep up. Yeah, you keep throwing those ninja stars. See how far that gets you. Oh, you, you biatch. Get over here. <laughs> She's like on the ground like, please don't hit me anymore. All right, now we're fighting Nunchuck in our hot fighting history. <laughs> All right, Nunchuck, you want some? Stop showboating. Oh, God, he hit me right in the stomachs. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, this guy's actually tougher than he looks. Hey, yeah, there's actually the waterfalls actually animated. I'm just noticing that. It's kind of cool. The hitboxes in this version are a million times better than the NES version. I will say, like, my guy's actually hitting the opponents when he gets near them. Oh, come on, we just need one more hit. One more hit of any kind. Yeah, we got him. Oh, come on. Oh, he knocked me out. Oh, are you kidding me? We get another shot. 
All right, we do. All right, nunchaku. You dick. <sighs> Hold on. What do these moves do? Like, see, sometimes he's, like, sort of doing, like, little half-jump attacks. Man, I can't get this guy. I think one problem is when you do do, like, a big jump, you jump so high, it's actually, like... Oh, there we go. L like, I wish I wish I jumped less high when I jumped, because it's like I'm jumping across the whole screen. I can't even get to the guy. Like, this guy is just playing a cat-and-mouse game. He just won't get near me. But there we go. We pummeled him, finally. Ooh, now we fight Pole. And then Fetal. Who came, comes up with these names? Oh, this guy literally... We're like fighting our way through the Ninja Turtles. There was Nunchucks, now there's Bow Staff. And there's gonna be Katana Swords, and then Psy. And then Walking Cane, which is Splinter. And then Cheese Grater, which is the Shredder. The Shredder makes tacos like you guys wouldn't believe. Taco Tuesday in the Technodrome is amazing. The Shredder just does it all right on his armor. It's crazy. <laughs> Look at Fetal going nuts. Pole was actually kind of easy. We kind of like backed him into a corner and like cheesed him out. Oh my god, wait, there's multiple guys? Wait, what is happening? I'm fighting clones now? This is very interesting. Somebody was like, hey, what if instead of fighting like one guy, it's like a thousand guys? And they just walk right off the screen, too. There we go. That was easy. That was like almost a bonus level. But he- his clones seem disinterested in fighting. Oh, here we go. Chain, club, sword, fan. Didn't see the rest. Ooh, different backgrounds now. Yeah, so in the NES version, it's all just different dojos. Probably because... I mean, the- the NES completely could have had different backgrounds. You know, it's not like the Yi R Kung Fu game was so complex. Like, look at- think of how complex Mario Brothers 3 was, with how many backgrounds and stuff it had. But the earliest NES games were definitely more limited than the ones that came later, so... Uh, 1984, 1985, that would have been one of the first games out on the Famicom. Um, so they still didn't fully understand what the Famicom could do, so obviously it had very limited graphics. This guy has a shield, that's not fair. I've also learned- I've also discovered that punches are the way to go, it seems. Although this guy, like, blocks my punches. So maybe down kicks are the way to go? Let's see if we can do our little, uh, cheap... Yeah, the down kick does seem to be the way to beat this guy. Oh, come on! Come on, buddy! Fall for it! He totally did! You suck! And we're- fan- oh my god, it's like, uh, a geisha. We're fighting a geisha woman. I feel like this poor woman has been sold into, like, a, a life of, uh, you know, street fighting, and I don't know if she wants to do this or not. I mean, I shouldn't judge. Maybe she's- this is, like, her lifelong ambition to be a, a Chinese cage fighter or something, but... Uh, I, I hope she wants to be doing this. And that's some sort of, like, slave lady that was sold into kung fu fights. Oolong has lost. Isn't Oolong a kind of noodle, too, by the way? <sighs> See if we can actually beat this- this woman. This woman's actually kinda difficult, because of her, like, fans that she launches. But if you don't let her launch the fans... Seems to be the secret. Just always... Get on the other side of her fans. Nope. Get over here, lady. It's like you just can't get near them. There we go. As long as I'm always scoring one more hit on her than she's getting on me, then we're in a good spot. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, you're dead. We gotcha. We gotcha. Oh, no, no. <laughs> get her. Get her. Yes. Down she goes. So, so far, Bruce Lee has beat up a couple of fat people, a couple of women. This guy's coming at him with a sword, though. Is this the end of Bruce Lee? Or Mr. Oolong Noodle? Come on, buddy. Let's see if he'll fall for it. Oh, God. He got me. Okay, my... my oh, God. Hey, wait, he just, he just went off one side of the screen to the other? 
Is that allowed? Judges? Oh god. This guy's actually hard, I can't hit him. Oh god. The jumping man. Okay, I should start using the jump button. Oh wait, the jump button doesn't jump? Okay, hold on. Wait, what? What does this third button do? Oh come on, get him, get him, get him! Yeah, somehow that worked! <laughs> I like how even in the earliest fighting games, getting your opponent into a corner and just wailing on them uh, is a way- is a legit way of winning. Now this guy is tons of fun. Come on, wail on him. Yes, yes! This is legit! This is how you win fighting games! <laughs> okay. Oh, and now it's like a mirror fight against blues. Mr. Blue, we meet again. Oh my god, except he's buff as anything. My guy's not this buff. Oh god. No. Die, Mr. Blue. Die. Oh, he's got one more hit on me. I can't just tank it. I gotta, oh god. I gotta like actually get him. Oh my god, get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. He got me. Ah, uh, game over. Well, that was pretty fun. That was pretty fun, I will say. Go ahead and enter our name, become part of the ages here. J. A. <laughs> Why do they put time limits on this? What if you have a really long name? <laughs> you don't have enough time to sign your name. Uh, that's funny. Uh, there we go. J. Do your best. Good luck. Well, ye are kung fu here. <laughs> Sounds like a pirate is saying, ye are kung fu. Uh, but it's Chinese for one, two kung fu. One of the games, the book of thousand one video games was played before you die. Um, in terms of whether you must play this game before you die, I would say you absolutely do not have to. Um, but that said, uh, I understand why this game is in the book and where it fits in the history of gaming. It's, you know, a, a very early fighting game. Uh, the first one really to introduce the idea of health bars and of different opponents and stuff. Like, you can see, you know, in a world that's like 10 years before Street Fighter 2, you can see how, like, something like this could get the gears turning in some, you know, like, teenager's head where he's like, man, if you, like, improve this and this and this and this, and before you know it, you have Street Fighter 2, you know? So... I think, you know, influential game, probably. Um, maybe kind of a fun game to play against a friend, like, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. If you even can do that, this might be a single-player only game, though. I haven't seen an option for a versus mode. But uh, if it does have a versus mode, it probably would be more fun that way. But now that I'm thinking about it, you don't even have a character select, so I doubt there is a versus mode. Um, so scratch that. I think it's it's one of those games that's kind of interesting, and if you did play it back in the day, you know, you probably have fond memories of it, and it's probably a fun game to go back to, and especially if you played it on, like, NES or Famicom with your brother or something. But, uh, in terms of whether new gamers should pick this up and play it, absolutely unnecessary for you to do so. But, it's kind of a cool game, and it's the kind of game that I like to, to check out in the Thousand One Gamebook. I never would have tried this game in a thousand years. I, I wouldn't even have known it existed if not for the book, so uh, kind of cool that we got to check it out here today. What do you guys think of Ye Are Kung Fu? Is it a game that you played back in the day? Do you have fond memories of it, tips or tricks, or any nostalgic stories you can share with us about what it was like when this game was actually in uh, in arcades? And, and also, like, if you were a fan of this game back in the day, what did you think the first time you saw Street Fighter? Because, again, obviously this kind of game led to Street Fighter. And if you liked this, I can only imagine how much your mind must have exploded when you saw Street Fighter 2 for the first time. So, yeah, share with us all your great nostalgia in the comments down below. And as always, I hope today was interesting and entertaining for you guys. If it was, don't forget to like the video and all that jazz. And other than that, I will catch you in the next one. So until next time, my friends, thanks for watching. And you all take care of yourselves. Peace. Look, why, why are those kicks missing? Why are all these kicks missing?